You may be wondering why I'm wearing a suit and tie. Is he a businessman going to a meeting of some sort? No, silly. I'm an actor. And today I'm auditioning for the role of debt collector number three. Now, normally, of course, for this type of role, I'd wear a leather jacket and shave my head. Uh, but, stupid me, I don't have a leather jacket. And due to recent issues going on in the world, I can't travel outside the house to get a sodden haircut. Therefore, I have to self-tape. What is an actor, you might ask? These are actors. This guy wants to be an actor. This guy thinks he is an actor. Then there's this guy. He's already writing his Oscar speech because his mum told him he was very good in that one episode of Doctors that he appeared in. Alas, as the great bard once said, all the world's a stage. Simply, he means that all human beings are players, acting out their assigned roles in everyday life. Okay, camera's rolling. Everybody set? Is the lighting okay? Good. Okay, can you look directly into the lens for us and say your name, please? Hi, I'm Chloe Andrews. Hi, I'm Chloe Andrews. I'm 23 and I'll be auditioning for the role of Mary. Okay, great. Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Can I ask you something? I don't know if you did, but did you hear the news already? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Can I start back again, please? Not a problem. It's fine. Go ahead right. in your own time. I thought to myself it wasn't real, until I did some investigating myself, and you won't believe what I found. What? You don't know? <laughs> I thought everybody would know by now. I mean, I guess the proper news just hasn't caught on to it yet. Twitter has, though. That's where everybody gets their news from these days. Twitter. Do you really want to know? I do. Well, something happened between the old couple who lived down by the riverside just off St Martin's Avenue. They claim he murdered his wife. Imagine murdering your wife. Who could do such a thing? Okay, can I just drop you there for a moment? Can we just try that last line again? It needs to sound more shocked, as if it's the first time you're hearing it, yet you don't quite believe this is the real news. Okay, sure. Okay, can we continue? Cool. Whenever you're ready. You're joking. She's not. I've seen the evidence. Apparently the old geezer chopped her up, stuffed her in a bag and bobs her uncle. She's a floating fucking corpse. Imagine trying to scoop that up out the Thames. Oh, you'd have a bloody field day. All covered in piss and shit. Am I right in saying that no one knows what I've been doing these past few days? Can't say I have. That's absurd. you think someone would be looking around for me by now. It's not as if I've... Fuck. Sake. Mum? Mummy, I can't talk right now. Yeah, I'm in the middle of something, aren't I? Yeah, it's a tape for this new ITV police show. Oh, it's not another broad church. All right. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. Okay. Bye. Well, I'm going to have to start that again, aren't I? Oh, that's a shame when that happens. What a reveal, though. Imagine an old man apparently killing his wife, chopping her up and dumping the body in the Thames. Blimey, there was me thinking they lived in the town of Midsummer. Okay, Rocky Balboa speech, take 
take 12. Hello, my name's Christopher Hall, and this is a monologue from Rocky Balboa by Sylvester Stallone, the greatest actor of all time. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place and it'll pick you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. And you, me, nobody gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't how hard you hit. It's how hard you can keep getting hit and keep moving forward. Oh, that was good. That was good. So I put the drugs in the fucking rover, go down to fucking Devon, get on the fucking ferry, get to fucking Calais, and uh, surviving that to job. <laughs> I feel doesn't pay the bills. But no, I'm more fucking ambition. Just do as I fucking say, and get fucking ten grand. All right, sweet. Hi. All right. There's my meals. I'm here to audition for the role of Nicholas. I'm 28, and here it goes. All right. Father, mother, I wanted you both to help me. I need you both to help me. I can't do. I can't do this on my own. I need you to both pull together. Oh, I trusted you. Now, forever and always. That was shite. <laughs> See you later. There's my meals here. Yeah, you're all right, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, that was eh? Happens to the best of us. Sometimes when we audition, we have to do the whole let me get emotional stage. I've always found that a bit tedious myself. You're home late. I was over the light. Go anywhere nice. Spoons, had a few drinks, not a major. Jesus. There was something wrong. I said it was not a major. What's your problem? Nothing major. Oh God, Jesus, give me strength. You were supposed to be home four hours ago, Dave. I've had to cook tea, wash the plates, put the kids to sleep. All the while, you want to go and piss it up at the pub with your mates. That ain't right, Dave. Not when you've got three kids at home. What sort of father does that? Who do you think you're talking to, women? What, you don't think I've got enough shit to do at work that I have to come back to this bullshit? It's Friday. I've worked my ass off all day and all I wanted to do was go out with the lads. Have a few drinks and then come back to a nice warm house with food in the boxy table. If I'd known I was going to get this shit, I would have got myself a fucking kebab. How dare you? Don't you ever speak to me like that. I mean, who's to say you weren't shagging some bond? Doing a line of cork? Sticking a firework up your ass and lighting it on fire? Remember? One fire night two years ago. Because believe you me, that's the shit you put me through. I mean, I tried so hard to make this marriage work. Believe me, I do. I just don't think you do. Do you love me? Because I certainly don't love you anymore. And it pains me 
so much to say this to you. I'm taking the kids for a while. I'm in my parents' house. You can find us there when you sort your stuff out. Don't touch me. Don't. Okay, wonderful. Would you be able to do that again for us? Again? Again? Yes, please. Just those last few lines from the moment you say, do you love me? What's your name? Matthew. And Matthew, how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen, yeah? And Matthew, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be a fireman. A fireman? Wow. I just love these chocolate chip cookies. They taste great whenever we go to the park. My name's Holly Wilson and I'm auditioning for roles from 8 to 11. Today sucks. I got caught cheating on a maths test. That's why I'm sitting outside the head teacher's office. I honestly wasn't. I mean, I did lean over at some point to the boy sitting next to me, but that was just to make sure he was getting all the correct answers. I knew all the answers myself, so I was fine. Bobby, however, wasn't. You could see he was struggling. I tried to help, but before you know it, here I sit. Still, could have been worse. My mum hasn't found out yet. That's not good. Hello, my name's Jay Turner. I'm 10 years old and today I'll be auditioning for roles from 10 to 12. So there's this girl at school that I like, I don't know her name, but she definitely knows mine. I think she saw her on a book or something. Anyway, she invited me to hang out with her and her friends. I couldn't say no now, could I? That would make me an idiot. But I don't know what to wear. I feel like if I wear what I always wear, then I'll feel self-conscious about myself. I'm not exactly one of the cool kids at school. Okay, Jay, that was good. But can we try it just a bit slower this time? You went a little too fast, okay? Okay. Should I say my name again or just... No, no, it's good. Just go from, I don't know what to wear. Okay. But I don't know what to wear. I feel like if I wear what I always wear, then I'll feel self-conscious about myself. I'm not exactly one of the cool kids at school. Okay, kid, you've got the part. Oh, well done, sport. It's always great to get news like that. Funnily enough, I just heard back from the casting team about the debt collector's role. I didn't get it. Perhaps I should have shaved my head. And nevertheless, as an actor, you're not always going to get the roles you audition for. Sometimes that can be a bit devastating, but don't take it to heart. Look at me. I once auditioned for a small indie film called Star Wars, whatever the fuck that was. I didn't get the job. I'm not hurt. Good things come to those who wait. Happy auditioning. <laughs>